Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, and this is going to be my review on DC Comics. I am Batman, issue number two. Um, it is written by John Ridley. We got art by Stefan uh, Sahoya. Um, we got colors by Rex Locus and uh, letters by Troy Pitera. Um, again, sorry if I mispronounced any of those names. I'm pretty sure I butchered some of them. Um, <clears throat> and again, I'm just bad with names overall. So, if you have not been caught up with uh, what is going on with the next Batman, or I Am Batman, or uh, many different names on the guy, but currently, I mean, he's just Batman, right? Um, in Future State, he was the current Batman, and we're still uh, set on that trajectory uh, within his storyline. Now, some of the trajectories that we had for some of the Future States are not lining up. For instance, uh, that's why we're in Fear State with Batman. This directly does tie into Batman, and it also ties into a side story that we've seen recently in Batgirls in issue number, uh, in Batman 115. Um, so at the end of issue two, with, with uh, Jace, uh, Jace Fox, uh, the current Batman, getting his new bat suit finally, and his uh, like temporary bat cave, with, which is hidden inside, um, you know Wayne Towers, which uh, I th I don't know if they've switched the name yet, uh, but I guess it would be Fox Industries or something like that because currently, um, you know, Jace's father, uh, Lucius Fox, owns Wayne Industries, so it, it's just an old uh, Bruce Wayne um, kind of you know hubby hole that he used as a temporary like a uh, Batman, you know. Um, kind of a changing, you know, area or something like that that Jace uh, found, and that's been his, like, temporary back hate. Um, he does work at, um, you know, the, uh, the the Fox Industries building or whatever have you, um, and yeah, I think he's head of security, so that's why, like, he's able to get in and out. At the very end of the last issue, after he put on the uh, bat, you know, the bat suit, and he's kind of, uh, his whole thing is he's trying to make his name known that he is the new Batman. Um, at the end of the very end of the last issue, we saw that Anarchy, the villain, uh, had been shot. Um, so this one picks up right where that one leaves off, and basically Anarchy is still running, and we see him uh, fall down dead. And uh, we actually get to see some of his pursuers, which are just hired gun. It's like three of them by the time you catch into the story. Um, and it's just basically the like. A, you know, um, there was four of them at one time, and then they start looking around, and when the the fourth one that is gone um, ha has been picked off by Jace, the new Batman, and uh, he quickly starts, you know, getting rid of the other, um, um, you know, the other three that are there, and basically, you know, hog ties them for the magistrate, and then leaves and takes off. Um, there's kind of a running statement um, throughout Batman, this Batman's dialogue, about how this Gotham doesn't know him yet. Of course, he realizes that, but at the same time, you know, knowing that Bruce used fear as a tactic, he is developing the same type, but more of a, you know, more of a brutal type of fear because he wants to, you know, sit in the message quick, but he also wants to come off as a different Batman than Bruce was. Um, they do jump over to the like police department and they're going into the investigation of the man that physically killed Anarchy. Now uh, I can say I don't know if this is the Anarchy that they killed. It might be like an Anarchy henchman. Um, they, they don't go into that details if it is like specifically that Anarchy because uh, technically Anarchy is already in a suit and stuff like that in the comic. They never they never do an autopsy or anything like that. Um, but they are going into the investigation, and this is where the Batgirl crossover starts happening because they find out that the man that shot Anarchy has ties with uh, the Seer and uh, with the uh, Morality um, Authority, I think is what it's called, and those are the people that work for the Seer. As far as we have seen so far, the Seer is just a digital imprint kind of villain. Um, that is messing with Oracle and uh, that is that short story in Batgirl um, and the way they kind of explain it is that they, 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 you know even the bad guys kind of have uh, like a, and the police kind of have a theory that it might just be 
like a like a, a program that Scarecrow has released, and it's just calling itself the Seer program. Um, as far as what I'm reading it, that's not what I'm getting. I'm getting it that it is somebody else, um, maybe that is helping Scarecrow or something like that. Because as far as we've seen from Scarecrow's side of it, um, it it's not even on his radar kind of thing. It doesn't even. It's not even approached or anything. All we're seeing it from is, is from the heroes. Um, so they're just assuming at this point that it, that it's it, it, that it's Scarecrow or somebody working with Scarecrow, but nobody's really defined at the moment. Um, and that's kind of where the police are kind of leading their investigation. There also is like this whole like uh, back and forth about because it was a kid that murdered um, the anarchy um, person, and um, it is a young white male, and there's this whole thing where. Um, like one of the cops is kind of trying to justify that he was like brainwashed or something like that in the same at the same time like uh, the the police that are interviewing him uh, are of different colored nature there's uh, Montoya and she's Hispanic and then there's Tanya and she's black and and they all have different outcomes on how they think he you know because you know like one of them sees it being white privilege another one is like no he needs to be, um, you know, he needs to have the harshest penalty, and basically, I mean, any way you look at it, the guy murdered the other person, it wasn't, you know, as far as we know, it wasn't brainwashing, he was just hired by the seer guy, and, um, but we do know that there is some type of fear gas that is running throughout Gotham, and that it's, it's more of a, a brain, uh, you know that it does uh, create visuals and stuff like that so the the police do not know this side of the story but there is this whole like race issue in, within the book of course uh, you know with the book focusing on the you know with Jace and everything so basically it goes back and forth and the police commissioner you know basically the, the, it, it isn't a race issue with the commissioner and stuff like that with Matoya and, and she basically states that he's going to get tried by the law the way the law is set up, you know, regardless of the way that the detectives want to run things and stuff, race, race is not going to, you know, apply into that, which I, I like that part of the book, you know, that's how it should be done, everybody should be created equal, right? So, um, it jumps back over to Jason, he's doing more investigation about the seer because he is, he is kind of getting information leaked from the police department but you know, hacking into their systems kind of thing. And um, him and his friend, the one, the person that is helping him behind the scenes, are trying to locate seer and his person behind the scenes is like a, like an intelligence type of hacker type person. Um, he tells Jay's that it, you know, within it is outside his uh, realm of, a, you know, um, you know, his skills to locate Seer, but he has located ways to contact the people that Seer were in contact with, and he does set up like this whole kind of like trap situation where basically he imitates that he is Seer, and he sends out this flash mob to everybody that Seer was in contact and uh, basically tells him to meet at the spot and Jay sets up this trap. Um, uh, as planned, all the criminals do show up at the designated area that night and and uh, they instantly are kind of weirded out because they, the seer's not there, but they don't really know who the seer is as well. They thought they were gonna get to see seer kind of thing. Um, but they do start questioning that they're all there at the same time and they start realizing it's a trap and they kind of start trying to take off and that's when Jace unleashes his trap which is uh, it doesn't go out so well because he kind of like flies in on a motorcycle and, and they just start shooting at him and stuff and, and um, he kind of has this epiphany that because he is this new Batman that they're not scared of him kind of thing that uh, they kind of see it as just some guy wearing a suit or something like that and plus he has the face mask that hides and um, so there could be this whole thing where they think it's a Robin or it, it is Bruce and he's just hiding that it's him kind of thing so during this fight he finally does r r you know take off the uh, like face mask part of the Batman cow and uh, reveals to one of the criminals as he's fighting him that he is a different Batman and um, 
as he's doing so, the because the, the criminal is like, well, I mean, what are you going to do? Even the regular Batman doesn't kill people, so why would you start killing people? And um, Jace just says that Batman is, you know, he explains that the Bruce Bruce Batman is just a, uh, you know, a different type of threat that you don't want to run into, but explains that he is his own unique threat that he should not take lightly, and, and uh, kind of commences to uh, kind of popping and breaking some bones, you know, and showing him very quickly that that you know, in a brutal fashion, and he, need, he needs to be scared of him, but he basically starts, you know, um, <clears throat> asking him questions about the seer, and, and there there isn't too much information that the guy can give him besides what he already knows kind of thing. So they basically show just, you know, Jace hog-tying him up for the police, magistrate, what have you type thing, and he ends up leaving. Um, the guy does state before Jace leaves that he doesn't know who he's messing with type of stuff and now that he has, you know, taken his cusp off, cusp off, like of the mask or what, what have you, um, that now the seer has seen him kind of thing, you know, he's got eyes everywhere, um, and the next panels they show you are just a, it's a bunch of TV clips that they show you that, that evidently maybe the seer is watching. And um, they just show you kind of like in text form that the seer is like, um, you know, activating some other assassins or gangs to go after, you know, Jace. And, and at the bottom they just show a whole bunch of pictures of Jace and one of them being without his face mask. Um, so it looks like, you know, the seer is going to send some people after Jace, like that guy said. Um, but that's where this comic leaves off. Um, I mean, I got a lot of people are not reading this book and for one if you if you are reading Batman and for some reason you are not reading this story you're missing out on the whole picture because uh, I've had this conversation quite a bit lately and a lot of people don't know this but every Batman family title right now are connected because of the whole fear state thing but ever since I am Batman the new Batman has started it, his his story has been intertwined with Bruce's the whole time it's not like you have to read either or but they do give you more of the complete picture in the the Batman storyline right now because um, you know Bruce might not show up in this this comic or anything but you do see ramifications of what's going on in Fear State and stuff like that um, and vice versa because some of this does carry over into Detective and Batman and that kind of stuff um, but even with all that said on a standalone comic um, the, the art has been stellar the all the way through, the colors of course are popping and um, right now we're at the action point of the story so I mean the, the whole like beginning volume of this was basically story and build up on how he was becoming his Batman and now he is Batman and we're getting to see basically year one as Jace as Batman you know it's, it's in my opinion it's so far it's a great uh, start to what could be a, a really cool version of a new Batman um, but hey, that's my review. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that, that mumbo jumbo, you know. Um, you know, what I'd really like to know in the comments below is what are your feelings on this new Batman, you know, Jace. Um, you know, Batman is still there, you know, and this is main continuity, and Bruce knows that, that Jace is there. He has already been, he has already approved Jace, but that's not to say that that it's because of his skill or merit. He's only approved him because of what's going on with Fear State and the Magistrate. So I'm pretty sure after all that settles down, we'll actually get to see, you know, um, you know, maybe there might be a, a you know, a head-to-head -head force where, where Bruce takes back his authority in Gotham. I mean, he's never really liked anybody sharing his, uh, you know, not to say his limelight, but he just prefers to take care of Gotham on his own. I mean, not excluding the whole Bat family. So I'm kind of curious on to see, you know, to see where after things settle down a little bit, where that's going to go. But anyways, <laughs> that's what I want to hear in the comments. You know, how do you feel about this, Jace? Do you like him? What you think? You know, are you on board with him? I don't know. I've enjoyed him so far. All right, guys. Bye.